Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Weaver from artforpause.com and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the process that I take to paint a cat's eye. And as you guys know, one of my most favorite subjects is animals and I absolutely love the depth and variations that are in the cat's eyes. In this study, I'm going to show you how I layer upon layer that I achieve the depth through the use of very thin layers of paint. I use a simple palette of titanium white, yellow okra, sap green, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, burnt sienna, and lamp black. For the paints, I do prefer Grumbacher uh, pre-tested paints. Uh, they're professional. They are a little more expensive, but you kind of get what you pay for and the quality of the pigment. Uh, for tools, I actually prefer the Master's Touch um, Kalinsky uh, brushes. Um, you can get them at Dick Blick, and they're just very quality, high quality. Again, you get what you pay for, and between the Grumbacher paint and the red Kalinsky sable brushes, you uh, the paint just goes on like butter. It's awesome. Love it. So with that, let's get started painting. Using yellow okra thin with some odorless terpenoid, I paint the light area of the eye. This is a different approach than most oil painters as we have all been taught to start with the darks first and move towards the light. I choose to start with the light so that I can build to the dark. And I choose to paint thinly so that the light can easily move through the colors of the white of the canvas thereby creating an almost glowing look. Then mixing in some burnt sienna with yellow okra, I begin to add the darks that would be found around the under eye. Blending it lightly, but not necessarily to blend in the colors so smoothly that they disappear, as there are color irregularities in cat's eyes. To show the shadow that is casted under the lid onto the eye, I use sap green and lamp black. Then grabbing some lamp black, I begin adding black to the pupil. Notice how I didn't clean my brush? Keeping some of the color on my brush helps give an undercurrent of these colors into the blackness of the pupil. After all, nothing is truly black. While the black of the pupil is still wet, I then pull in some sap green and add what I'm calling the spokes <laughs> that you see coming out of the pupil. Continue adding the spokes around the pupil with ultramarine blue and a touch of lamp black on the upper side of the pupil. I'm using ultramarine blue here instead of sap green because the upper part of the eye will often reflect the sky. Taking some more of the burnt sienna and yellow okra, I can start blending the colors around the eye to soften the edges of the colors. Taking a soft brush, I can soften some of the lines of paint, keeping in mind soft edges and hard edges alternating between the two to ensure there is a three-dimensional look. Taking some of the alizarin crimson and white to make the pink that goes around the eye. And I can deepen the crevices in the pink area by simply adding some more alizarin crimson. and I can deepen it further with alizarin crimson and burnt sienna. And then lightly blend with the dry brush. At this point, the initial layer of thin paint is likely to be dry, so you can add in some more highlights with a combination of yellow okra and titanium white. 
I continue to add depth with thin glazes of sap green, burnt sienna, deepening the areas around the eye with alizarin crimson, burnt sienna, and accenting with highlights of alizarin crimson and white. Hope you guys enjoyed today's painting and the tips and tricks on how to paint the cat's eye. For more glazing tips, which is essentially the way that I paint, is glazing thin layers, check out my other instructional video on how to apply glazes in oil. It's a little bit longer, goes more in depth, so uh, check out that video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, uh, leave a comment below, go ahead and subscribe so you'll be the first to know. Yep, I'm a rumor too. Um, but anyway, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me some comments. And because I do so much more than just videos, visit my website, www.artferpaws, that's fur, like furry animals, .com, where I also honor military and service working animals at no cost to the owner. So um, if, again, if you guys like this video, you find it helpful, and there's other things that you want to paint or have questions about, Leave a comment. I read these. I get them all the time, and I love talking with you guys So and sharing with you guys. So until next time, keep painting and keep creating.